Don't be a loser. My name is Michael Santos, and I am the founder of Prism Professors, and that's my message for today. Don't be a loser. As you work through our series on daily discussions, think about what does it mean to really be the best in the world at what you want to do, regardless of what outcomes or what challenges or what struggles you are going through. How are you going to do it? Are you going to be the person that says, I can overcome and conquer this and emerge stronger with my dignity intact, with opportunities to prosper and thrive? Or am I going to be the person that's making excuses saying, you know, it's not my fault. The lawyer put me here. Prosecutor did this. Justice system is unfair, right? All of that may be true, but no one cares, okay? No one cares. I am committed, and our team at Prison Professors is committed to helping you understand in order to succeed through this journey, you've got to become comfortable with being uncomfortable. You've got to hate being in the criminal justice system so bad that you are going to architect your strategy to succeed regardless of what anybody else says or does. You don't live with hate for anything outside. Instead, you live with love for yourself and the people that you want to build and grow. And that in order to do that, you truly have to develop the self-motivation to figure out how am I going to get through this? How am I going to create resources? And really, that is the concept of today's daily discussion, creating resources. You don't allow the system to dictate whether you are going to succeed or not. You don't allow the system to say, if it doesn't offer you courses or classroom, or if you're not in the system yet and you're dealing with lawyers, you don't allow your lawyers to dictate your future. You've got to do it. And that you've got to build and architect your strategy to success. To success. Because leaders teach us that we can empower ourselves by being self-directed. Rather than waiting for others to solve our problems, we can create resources to leverage growth opportunities. At a basic level, we can work to develop our communication skills. We can strengthen our critical thinking skills. We can engineer a trajectory to succeed by learning to communicate better and to think creatively. It's far, more, it's far easier to live as this person that is making excuses for why they're a loser. I don't want you to be a loser. You know, that's what they say about people who've gone through the criminal justice system. Oh, he's a loser. He's a two-time loser. He's a three-time loser. What are you? You've got to be the guy that raises your hand and says, it's not going to, def to, to, to destroy my prospects for success. You've got to say, even though I, I made some bad decisions in the past or something difficult happened in my life, I had the strength within to develop intrinsic motivation and to build my life. I'm not asking you to do anything that I didn't do. These are the strategies that empowered me through 9,500 days in prison. And if I was only in one prison and I got lucky and something happened, you could say I was lucky. If it was two or three prisons and things happened, you could say I was just lucky. But if it happened all the way through 26 years in prison, where I created my own resources, including professors at places like Yale University, even though I was locked inside of a jail cell, you can say, I can do that too. And that's why I urge you, work through the prison professors programs. Work through these daily discussions. These are not just a motivational tool. They are a personal development tool. And what's the key word? Personal. It's not up to the criminal justice system or the prison to change your life. It's up to you to change your life. And if you don't, then you've got to start answering a question of why I am a loser. If you hate where you are, if you hate the system so badly, then figure out how am I going to put it behind me, obliterate that loser mentality, and start building a pathway to success. That's what this lesson is about in our daily discussions today. So let me start reading. With shackles locked around my ankles, I struggled to walk through the bus's narrow aisle. The officer called my name, and I responded with my registration number. He asked a few more identifying questions. After I answered correctly, I hobbled off the bus and started climbing the stairs leading to the prison. Once all the other people walked inside, the gates locked behind us. The staff members fingerprinted us. They took our mug shots and processed us, 
processed us inside. With a 45-year prison term to serve, I had to grow stronger. I looked around the crowded holding cell, assessing the other prisoners. They looked older, harder. Every choice I made would influence how I matured and what opportunities would open. After being released from the holding cell and settling into my housing unit, I walked to the library. I hoped to find resources that I could use to begin climbing my way out. If I didn't get into trouble, I could earn up to 19 years in good time credits. That meant I could walk out in 26 years when I would be 49 years old. As I walked into the library, I wondered what steps I could take to influence the life I would lead then. I tried to visualize the future. If I didn't create opportunities, I would not have any clothes when I got out. I would not have any work experience when I got out. I would not have any credit when I got out. I would not have any money when I got out. So here's the question. How can I start working today to prepare for the challenges ahead. Those kinds of questions helped me think differently. There wasn't anything I could do about the crimes I started to commit when I was 20. Likewise, I couldn't do anything about the 45-year sentence I served. But I could do something about the choices I made each day. I could choose to complain about the unfairness or injustice, or I could begin working to grow stronger. Knowing the importance of mental health, I looked through the library's shelves. If I spent too much time perseverating on the sentence, I could lose myself with thoughts of what I lost. Conversely, I could build hope if I read biographies or profiles of other people that triumphed over struggle. I could learn. Reading stories about others who overcame challenges led me to believe that I could do the same. I would never meet those people, but they became my teachers. From them, I learned that I had the power to develop as a human being. And if I could grow as a human being, I could create meaning and relevance in my life. By learning to think differently, I could become resourceful. Here are your questions. What does it mean to be resourceful? What resources can you create? In what ways can the way you think influence opportunities to grow? In what ways can the way you think threaten your progress? How can you start to create more meaning in your life right now? And here is the word of the day. Perseverate. Define perseverate. Use perseverate in a sentence. This is the pathway for you to not be a loser. And what is a loser? It's someone who is allowing external forces and factors to define what or, or, or what the person is or what the person becomes. It defines how you are, are, are giving up and you can't give up. I could never give up while going through 26 years in prison. This is what I learned from leaders. They taught me how to think different and how to think differently. And then there is a difference between the two, as you'll learn through some of our, from some of our future lessons. But as the founder of Prison Professors, I am deeply committed to helping all justice-impacted people. And who is a justice-impacted person? It's anybody that's going through the system. It's anybody that's in the system. It's anybody that's come out of the system. It's people that work in the system. If I'm committed to working to change the culture of confinement, that means that I have to show the strategies that leaders taught me. And leaders taught me how to not be a loser. I don't want you to be a loser. I want you to be a winner. And that's what all the prison professors programs are about. They're about showing you how to be the CEO of your own life, how to define success, set priorities, build a plan, put your tools, tactics, and resources together, and then execute your plan every single day. That's what success is about. That's when you take control of your life. That's when you show the system doesn't define me, my behavior and reaction to the system defines me. And I am asking you to be a part of our community by focusing on the self-directed pathways to, to, to overcome, to, to influence your life. 
And if you're inside of a jail or a prison and you've got access to all of the courses that prison professors offers, you will see examples of people who've used this strategy to overcome things like a life sentence and come home and become successful. I know you can come home and become successful. I know that you can influence your life. I know the First Step Act changes the justice system, and you have to work to seize initiatives so that you can emerge with your dignity intact, with opportunities to prosper. If you're watching this on YouTube or listening on iTunes, I do hope that you'll subscribe to the Prison Professors program or visit the website at Prison Professors. If you're inside of a jail or a prison, I am asking for your help. I would never ask you to do anything that I didn't do while going through 26 years in prison, but I am going to ask you to start documenting your journey, to set goals, to develop your resources so that you can emerge successfully and so that you can help us persuade legislators and taxpayers and citizens on why we need more mechanisms that would allow people to earn freedom. I am Michael Santos, and I believe in you.